guys. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're enjoying your time with your family. Uh, our weekend was uh, good. We actually went to go see Fast and Furious 6. Bomb. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I uh, can't wait for the next one to come out. So, uh, as far as what we're going to do today, Carrie's going to be at work. I have to go to work. And I think we're going to his sister's house for a barbecue. I haven't got confirmation from him yet, but I think we are. Um, and then that's pretty much about it. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get started. This is my May 2013 favorites. Hello, what year am I in? First of all, I apologize about several things. The glare on my glasses, still working with it. I'm afraid when I get the lighting I've been wanting, the glare is going to happen. So we'll see. Hence why I want to go get contacts. Um, neighbors are out being noisy with their trucks. It's whatever. Um, and then what was the other one? I guess that's about it. I'm going to try not to make this a long video. Anyway, let's get started. I did write my favorites down. I was trying to be realistic. What did I use a lot this uh, month? I know there was a lot of products that I was trying to use up. I did not include them because you guys saw it. So, anyway, let me go ahead and get started with eyes. Okay, now. This mascara has always been a favorite, but apparently I had used it up. So, the L3 in 1 mascara, I love this one. I actually started wearing it with the Rocket Ex uh, Volume Express mascara, waterproof with Maybelline. I'm not impressed with this by itself, but with this I am. And I, apparently I finished using it today. I tried to get as much as I could out. Nothing's coming out, so it's either dried out or I used it up. I'm pretty sure I used it up, though, because I used it a lot. But I love this mascara. It's $3. I know there's a lot of people that probably don't like this, but I loved it and I will continue to purchase it. Um, there's a few other mascaras that I want to uh, get. So, and yes, this is my dead of the month. I know a lot of you love this one, swear by it, but it just did not work for me. Sorry. But this one I loved. So, anyway, and if I have time at the end of this video, I will share with you what I have on my face. I haven't done the face of the day on here. I usually go to Kiki and do it. Um... So, yeah, but anyway, and I know several other uh, YouTubers do that, so I'll do it. Okay, also on my eyes uh, that I used a lot. Um, when I wasn't wearing my charcoal gray color that I told you guys in Saturday chat that I've been into, I would go toward this elf quad that I made. It's, I call it the purple one, but I've got a beige one in there, so it's not really a purple quad. But. This color is called purple. This color is called Wisteria. I had this on today. I had this on the lid. This on my uh, crease. And this is pink ice. Because I used that for the highlight. And I, again, I know this is in purple. But, you know. Anyway, I love this. I've been using that quite a bit. Whenever I wasn't using this other um, selection I'm going to show you. These are a buck. I got the two purple shadows probably at... Target and then the pink ice. I'm really sure I got that at Walmart because that's where I got my backup of it. So love these. These are a dollar. I'm not really a huge fan of the elf eyeshadows, but these I dig. I mean, they're not as super pigmented as I wanted them to, but they're good enough to where I can create a light purple look. So okay. Heather Purple Kisses 1110 has gotten me for some reason to a smoky charcoal look. I don't know what the deal is. I saw her do it one time and experiment it and went, wow, I really like that. So, anyway, I've talked about this quad a lot. I'm going to talk about it again. The Essence Quad and Over the Taupe. I love this quad. It's such a pretty quad. I found this at Ulta. You may check other places. Uh, H-E-B may have them. I don't know if this is still available. I'm pretty sure I saw it last time. The two colors I always went for is this color right here. And this one right there. Now, this one is really good too, but I just I didn't go for it. And then sometimes I would use the white part of that one for the highlight. I love this quad. It's such a pretty color. I had this on my face the day the other day when on Keek. Heather said she really liked it and was wanting me to do an eyeshadow tutorial. I said maybe, maybe not. I really didn't feel comfortable doing it. But I love this quad and it's such a pretty quad. I think it's like $349. They blend well, they're smooth, satiny texture and they last all day love it for my brow a lot of times i reach for mocha nation this is a great palette to to get the same look i think but that white eyeshadow right there i use that quite a bit for my brow highlight so love this 
and I did purchase the Elf Single Baked Eyeshadows. I was going to include those, but I didn't feel like I used them enough to justify saying, hey, I love this. So, there you go. And I say so a lot. I gotta quit saying that. Okay. Uh, I have four eyeliners on here, and I could not keep them out of the favorites video because I really love them that much. I swatched the th these three. I was doing a swatch for something. I was doing the video yesterday, and it totally failed. Went to work. After all the hand wash and everything I did, it was still staying in my hands until I wiped it off with the wipe. So, yeah. And I'm talking about the Skin to Eyes uh, Eyeliner Pencils, the waterproof. This is in black. I was doing an experiment with this and the Urban Decay one, but I didn't get back to you on it. 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. I did get this as a free sample. I didn't make a $30 purchase. I was there exchanging something. And then I, the girl gave it to me. So, yeah, I didn't. That wasn't the day I went and spent money during my no-buy. It was just when I went to exchange to get a different product. So, that's how I got that. Believe it or not, they do give you products that they know you. And you come in there a lot. Uh, Wet n' Wild Color Icon and Charcoal. You know, I love these pencils. They're like 99 cents, and they glide on really nicely, and I love this one. As soon as I finished up that Essence one, I grabbed this one. I love, love, love this one. And then for the waterline, which I've been experimenting with, the Skin and Eyes, Rimmel, London, and Nude. NYX actually has another one. I think Beauty Makeup and More, Lorian, I think she did a haul on it. To me, that one's a little bit brighter, but when I came into the room, my husband noticed that it, it gave me that much more brighter wake. So I've been using that for my waterline. Love these pencils. You can find the Wet n Wild at Walgreens and then Rimmel you can find anywhere. So, Okay, for face, I have been loving, loving, loving this ever since I got it. I used to put my foundation on first as far as whenever I got done with my eye makeup. And then put this kind of a product under my eyes. But, and don't ask me why, but I since changed it. This is a CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ages Eye Corrector. I love this stuff. I bought four of these the other, maybe two, three weeks ago. This has been awesome. Um, it's got a little crack in it. I hope it's not drying out. This has taken care of the fine lines, giving me that awake look. Um, the mornings where I'm dragging and I need to look like I'm wide awake and I've had plenty of coffee. This has been great. I know it's been discontinued, but if you can find these, get a hold of these because, and I feel like it's helped with the fine lines too, and it's just a really great product. I know that they came out with the bottle. I think what they did was they took this and bottled it up, you know, repackaged it. That's what I think because I saw uh, Emily Noel 83 talking about it, and I really think that's what they did to it. But this is awesome. So happy I bought these. I bought two of them at $6.49, and then I got the other two for like three something. And they're originally $12.99 at Walgreens. So check out your local Walgreens. The Elf Mineral Booster. I can't say enough about this. I finished up the Elf Press Powder, and then I grabbed this because there's been several times it's been hot as a you know what here in Texas. And I love this. It's always going to be a holy grail. I have the color sheer. This size is eight bucks. The smaller one was six. Makes no sense to get that. It's two dollars more and get a bigger size. I got this on the Elf website and have a backup of it from a friend of mine. My highlighter, Wet n Wild Color Icon Reserve Your Cabana. Now I love Tiki. Don't get me wrong, but this has really kicked its butt because I really enjoyed this. This is a much better highlight for me. I enjoy the shimmer, but for a more mattifying highlighter, which I've been going for, I've been using this. It's a light bronzer and SPF 15. And I got this at Walgreens for like $4.49. This is not travel friendly, mind you, but this is an awesome highlighter. Um, and I've been putting it around uh, my tees on, I guess is what you call it, and then around here. And it's giving me a really nice look, so I'm glad I've been experimenting with that. And I'm sorry I'm going really fast, but I'm trying to get this video without my stomach growling. And I don't want to record this video because I haven't had breakfast yet, like a smart person would. Okay. Two blushes, I've been taught, you guys know, I'm not going to go into it that much, Heart Candy, Faith Blush, and Living Doll, I love this, well, this will always be in the favorites, because I, heck, I made like a huge dent on it, and I love these, I want to go get another one of these, the Moonlit's been the next one I want to try, but it's more of a highlighter color, I want to get something like this, it gives me 
uh, color. So if you can re recommend one of these to me, let me know. Love this. Uh, it gives me that pinch of color. Now this one is LA Girl. Um, I got this at a local beauty store uh, called Queens. It was $2.99. It's called Just Pinched. I've had this for a while. I actually was going to get rid of it. I thought I'd give it a whirl. The only thing I do not like about this is a strong perfume smell. But that goes away after you put it on. If you can deal with that for a couple minutes or less than that that you put it on, you're fine. It's sort of a pinky mauve color, and it's such a pretty color. Love this. I'm not sure where you can find this except at local beauty stores. You can see that's the swatch. It reminds me of um of an elf blush. That's kind of like in the mellow mauve. I don't know. I don't think that's it. But you know what I'm talking about? Kind of the mauvey pink. I don't know. It comes off super bright off my bl uh, blush brush. Let me tell you. But I love this. I've been alternating back and forth between those two. We already know what bronzer I've been using. Um, now foundation. Um, I didn't pick out a foundation because I've been using that other one from Rimmel. Um, the blemish concealer from Revlon. I think this has been discontinued. I got this at Walgreens, and I'm in. I got there. I have this on today. This is a really good concealer. It stays on all day, and it conceals my blemishes quite well. I, in my opinion. But if you haven't tried this and you got a pimple problem, pick this up. And I want to try the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, not the Whipped. I, I love the. I'm going to repurchase the Whipped, but I want the regular foundation. So, yeah, and I can wear this like on a hot, humid day. Put put this over, put this on. Put my Elf Mineral Booster stays on all day. No joke. This is awesome. Um, could be the shortest video I've done. Okay, for lips, I have about four or five products that I have to talk to you guys about. Okay, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip, uh, the Balm Stains. A lot of times I wore hot pink. I would grab this one, and this is uh, Lovesick Passion E, number 20. Or if I wanted a nude lip, I would wear Honey... I want to say douche, but I'm pretty much not getting that right. And let me do swatches for you. Other hand. I love these. I will probably be using these up a lot during the summer because I have kind of back off the lipstick thing because they melt. That one in the center right there. Is my very favorite lipstick out of all of these or lip product, and that's the NYX Matte Lipstick in Shocking Pink. And I was looking for a MAC Kenny Union dupe. I know I'm not a MAC expert by any means, but boy, I sure did love that color. And I found this, and this is a close enough dupe, in my opinion. Looks like that. So pretty. They, uh, the Vivids collection from Maybelline, that purple. Neon one that would be another good one, but that's what the color looks like. And let me tell you something: when you put this on, it will stain your lips. When my husband sees me wearing this, he goes, "Okay." I mean, my husband he don't care if I wear the lip products, but he don't want to be wearing it too. And it that looks funny, anyway. But yeah, I highly recommend those lip lip products. A lot of times when I wear my purple eyeshadows, I like to wear this lipstick. This is a vintage pink. I know I wore this a couple times, but it's still a favorite and a holy grail. I do still have this available. I did see that. I have it on my lips today. Lip gloss. I'm not too super, super crazy about these lip glosses, but this color I love. This is a glossy gloss and dragon fruit. It's got enough pigmentation for me to tone down a bright lip color just enough. I mean, I was disappointed with it being not so pigmented. The brush on it's interesting. So goopy, so love it. Okay, and that's gonna be the quickest I've done my favorites video. Woo -woo. Just kidding. <laughs> Do my own horn. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. Okay, I told you about the rocket being the total fail. That was a total fail. The warm vanilla sugar intense body moisture. Uh, over. Okay, I was excited to finally get around to trying this. You know why I didn't like it? It's because it was it was like putting a grease ball on your skin. I'm trying to use this up. I have another one of these that's full. I'm going to send to a friend of mine. 
I'll let her use it. I love the scents. Warm vanilla sugar. One of my holy girl uh, scents. But, yeah, this is very greasy and I do not like it at all. So when it's gone, it's gone. And I dropped the lid. Um, I had another Total Fill product and I can't find it. Anyway, if I think about it, I'll do a video on it. Uh, okay, my face today, I have my Elf Quad. Here's the look. Nothing special, but it's pretty. I have, like I said, I have purple on the lid, Mysterio on the lid, or the crease, hello. This is pink eyes in the crease. My Aunt NYX, no NYX, NYC brow kit. Um, for the eyeliner that I need to thin out, I actually have zero because I didn't mean to put a big line on there. But the Urban Decay 24 7 zero. And then for my face, I actually am trying out some samples today. Um, I have my Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. I'm the thinking about getting this because I really like this primer. I've already tossed out the NYC. Um, you know the the primer. I actually uh, just got rid of that because it was starting to break me out and I cannot deal with it anymore. So yeah. And this has not broken me out which has been awesome. Um, this has a different name on it but this actually is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer and I have this on today as well. So far I like it. Don't know. I would never pay the amount of money for it, but it's nice to try it out. For blush, I have um, Elf Studio. This is in Fuja Fusion. I was wanting to wear products, a lot of products that I wouldn't normally I haven't worn in a while. And this is the shimmery one. Love this. Under my um, concealer, I have the. Ulta Minerals Concealer. I've gone back to using this because I've got one of this I need to use up so I can get started on the other one. Uh, for pressed powder, I finally broke open my Wet n Wild. That was just a little hair thing. The CoverGirl Pressed Powder and Fair Light. This is also not None of the CoverGirl products I've got are tra travel friendly, but I have this on my face. I'm trying something different, so. Anyway, and of course you know what's on my lips, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorites were of the month. I will see you later. I'm going to go eat that breakfast and then come back and do more videos for you. Have a great day.